there's something to be said about longevity, particularly in a division this deep. Charles DeBrox has more finishes, 19, more submission wins, 16, and more performance bonuses, 18, than any other fighter in UFC history. All of that is why many consider him the uncrowned champion. A half pound is the only difference from him holding a belt. But Anthony, this is a guy who prior to this 11 fight win streak, over 17 fights, he was 500, eight and eight with a no contest. How do you explain his evolution to become a world champion? Yeah, you know, I think some of it uh, just comes down to the X's and the O's. He's become a much more dangerous striker. So he's finishing guys on their feet for, or, or at least he's being dangerous there and forcing them to try to shoot takedowns and, and close that distance. But I think he found his heart. He, he found his will. He, he's always been ahead in a lot of these fights. And later on, he fades a little bit and has some problems staying, staying focused. Uh, but he, he did something that's almost impossible for combat sports athletes, and that's later on in his career, found his ability to overcome adversity. And I like that you mentioned that he found his heart. He mentions attributing the birth of his daughter to helping that success that he's had. And he's always had finishes. 30 of 33 of his wins have come by finish. He's tightened up his defense, attributing it to the heart. He gets in these tough fights, and he doesn't go away anymore. Now, the odds makers have him as a two to one dog in this yeah. fight. And I see why they have it because to be a finisher, you have to take risks. Islam, on the other hand, doesn't take as many risks with the wrestling. Well, we know that Islam wants to wrestle. Anthony, I'll start with you. Wh who do you think is gonna be able to dictate where this fight takes place? 100% Islam. He dictates where this fight happens. Charles Oliveira is not so worried about defending takedowns or getting off of his back. Uh, he's fine with being on the ground and grappling. So if Islam wants this to be a grappling fight, that's exactly what it's going to be. Can he stay safe there, not get submitted, uh, or not get grounded out, grounded pounded? Can he get back to his feet? That's yet to be seen. I think that's the questions that Oliveira has to answer. Wrestling always dictates the pace of the fights, right? We know that. We see this all the time. Islam, that is the game plan. They feel so confident on his, his, his M. And you see Habib saying, we're going to come out here, we're going to take him down right away, and we're going to dominate him. But as you just mentioned, Oliver, he feels so comfortable off of his back. He has so many submission victories. It's going to be the clinch game that we get to see who wins that war. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.